Just like corporations, stars, too, can engage in mergers and acquisitions, a new study has identified a pair of white dwarf stars heading toward a merger. White dwarfs are the hot, super dense remnants of spent stars. In a binary system called J0651, two white dwarfs circle each other very rapidly. The binary pairing completes an orbit in less than 13 minutes. And that already rapid orbital dance is speeding up as the two white dwarfs spiral in on each other. Each year their orbital period shrinks by 0.3 milliseconds. That's actually a pretty dramatic change on astronomical timescales in about a million years, the white dwarfs will get so close that the larger one will start to cannibalize its smaller companion before long. The two stars will, likely become one. The study appears in the astrophysical journal letters. The tightly wound white dwarf binary should also be radiating gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space and time. But today's gravitational wave detectors are not sensitive enough to detect them. That's okay, astronomers have another million years, before things get really interesting, to build an instrument that's up to the task. Scientists are looking for Earth-like planets around other stars. But one way to limit the search can be to figure out where an Earth-like planet cannot exist and eliminate those types of systems. In a new study, astronomers turned their attention to so-called hot Jupiters. These are Jupiter-sized planets that have an orbit of only about three days. The scientists looked at 63 hot Jupiters to see if they could find evidence for any nearby Earth-like planets. They found none. But it could be that the companion planets are too small in size or mass or just aren't detectable with the current techniques. So the researchers then turned to hot Neptunes and warm Jupiters, these are Jupiters with slightly longer orbits. They found only two potentials nearby planets among 222 hot Neptunes. And of the 31 warm Jupiters, five showed evidences of a companion. The findings are in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The current theory is that hot Jupiters formed and then migrated in towards their stars. The researchers say that the migration might have disrupted the formation of Earth-like planets. Good thing our Jupiter kept its cool. One day the banana is perfect. Bright yellow, firm, flavorful. But even within that same day brown spots appear on your perfectly ripe banana, its flesh turns mushy, and it's destined for the compost or at best, banana bread. But scientists are developing a way to extend the life of ripe bananas. It's a spray-on coating made from chitosan, a substance found in crab and shrimp shells. The new gel can be sprayed on bananas to slow the ripening process by up to 12 days. Like other fruits bananas remain alive after being picked and it actually continues to respire. This means that they take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. The more the banana breathes the faster it ripens and then rots. Bananas ripen more quickly than most fruit because they don't naturally slow the respiration after being picked, in fact it speeds up, causing bananas to become mushy. Kytosan not only kills the bacteria on banana skin that then leads to rot, it also significantly slows down the respiration in the first place. So bananas won't drive you bananas. So in a very important tense, um, memory is the cognitive function that stores knowledge that we've acquired through learning and perception. But also memory is important, 
because memory frees our behavior from being controlled by the present stimulus environment. If you didn't have memory, all you'd be able to do was react to whatever is currently in the environment now, whatever it is that you're experiencing. But memory allows us to respond to past events as well as events in the current stimulus environment. And memory also gives us the means to reflect on our experiences so that we plan for future encounters. My hero is Marie Curie. She was a Polish physicist and chemist working in France, and she did conduct pioneering research on radioactivity. She was also the first woman who won a Nobel Prize. Marie Curie is my hero because she showed a lot of determination in following her career path and her passions. She also showed a lot of patience in working for years to receive results from her experiments. And Marie Curie, she designed and built the first mobile X-ray machines. She worked on the front lines of the First World War along with her daughter saving soldiers.